Well, here's a little job that I've been meaning to tackle for a while. The um, varnish on the bow doors has become rather tatty and jaded over the years. And I always wanted to do a lot of woodwork on this boat in white anyway. So what I've decided to do is come out and uh, decorate these doors today. I've um, got some abrasive paper, I'm going to give them a little sand up. Obviously take the handle off and there's a vent just out of picture there, I'll take that off to give myself a clear run. And then I'll just um, sand them up a bit and apply a couple of undercoats and a couple of top coats and uh, be a good little job hopefully. In the end, it's always a lot quicker to just take everything off rather than trying to mask up if you possibly can. There you go, now I've got a clear run at it. It's important to take the time to get a good smooth finish because otherwise when you paint it it just won't look very good. Always try to go with the grain when you can. That way you won't see any of the scratch marks when you paint. Just going to do the frame while I'm at it. Well that's one done, there's the other one to do now. Keep those screws from getting lost. And it's just the same again for this door. Well that's that one done. Now I'm going to brush them down and then give them a wipe with a damp cloth just to get all the bits off. Well I've given these a really good dust and a really good wipe down and I've done the frame as well. So I'm ready to go off to Screwfix and see if they've got my primer undercoat for me. Now this is one of those jobs that sometimes you can't quite be bothered with. I'm masking everything up properly. It takes a while but I'll save a lot of time and hassle later. When I go to paint, I'll be able to just fly over this, whether I'm using a brush or a roller, and it'll be so quick. 
so I've just got to tough it out and go around and mask up all the little bits and pieces obviously I'm doing the glass now but it'll be worth it Always make sure you really rub the edges of the masking tape right down so it sticks and no paint can get in underneath it. I just use my fingernails, only on the very edges. Now sometimes when I'm painting I can get a bit slap dash so what I'm going to do, take the curtains off, better safe than sorry I reckon. The only way to do it is to take the pole down, so it takes a couple of minutes. This is the stuff I like to use for undercoat. It's a primer and undercoat all in one, and it's acrylic, so water-based. It means it goes on easily and quickly and it only takes 20 minutes to dry and you can go over it again. Plus, you know, if you spill any anywhere, you've got a good chance of getting it off. And it's not expensive. I've had this a while as you can see. See this is where your masking tape comes in handy, saves a lot of time now. When you do the first coat uh, with this stuff it's quite slow going and it's difficult to get the brush marks sort of nice and straight and even um, but it gets better second coat will go on a lot quicker of course I'm doing what you should never really do and I'm uh, painting straight out of the pot but uh, I can't be bothered with all that kettle nonsense Always remember to start with the easy bits first. Save the difficult bits for the end. You'll be in the swing of it more by then. Do you know, I've been wanting to paint these doors white ever since I got the pot. <laughs> Finally. Four years later, five years later. Well, that's the first coat done. We'll give that 20 minutes to dry and then I can go back round again. Time for the second coat. And that's the second coat done. Well, with the second coat now dry, I'm just going to go over it with a little bit of uh, emery cloth, sandpaper, call it what you will. I think this is about a 120, 180 grade, something like that. It's just to get any of the worst of the brush marks out and also any little speckles of dust or anything that might have settled. Of 
that'll actually make quite a lot of difference to the finished result. And just give it a quick go with the cloth again just to get any bits off. Well, I've actually got some uh, silk emulsion for the top coat. It's much like satin wood paint really, only I don't happen to have any of that around at the moment. And it'll match the rest of the boat that I've done uh, up to the gunnels on the walls and things. It's pretty good stuff, so let's give that a little bit of stir and get on with it. Well, I'm halfway through the second coat now just done one door got another one still to do and uh, these early autumn evenings are getting the better of me I don't think I'm gonna get this done tonight well that is actually the second coat done but what I want to do is I'm gonna leave it for tonight Tomorrow I'll have a look at it and see if I'm happy. I think what I might need to do is possibly just give it a light rub down and just go over it with one more good coat, you know, in proper daylight. And I think I'll be happy then. Of course, it means the masking tape's gonna get a little bit stuck on overnight, but what can you do? I should have started earlier. Well, I didn't quite get finished yesterday. I got a couple of coats on, but I think it just needs one more just to really get it. So I'm just going to give everything a little bit of a rub down and I'll be ready for a final paint up. Should be an easy day. And just a bit of a dust off as usual. It's only just damp enough just to pick up any bits of dust, it's not soaking. I'm going to carefully take off the masking tape while the paint's still a bit wet because that way it's easier to get the tape away cleanly. Not doing that well. I think uh, leaving it on overnight certainly not helped. If the masking tape's on a bit too tightly, well, just run a craft knife down the edge of the paint line. Well, time to do the good bits now. I polished these up, found some new screws because the old ones were looking a bit untidy and uh, just pop everything back together now. A little tip, I won't do the screws up tightly yet. I will do them last thing tonight just once the paint's had a chance to really harden off. That way, things won't get stuck together.
Again, we just do that up loosely for now. And there we go, all finished. Coming up in next week's episode, a couple of lift bridges and it's time to get the plank out again. It's a lovely spot.